Hey, what's up guys? Neat Jay here. Welcome to my video. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this kind of curly hair with Redshift in Cinema 4D. Let's get started. Here is a 100 centimeter cube. We can see the model scale by this reference cube. Okay, delete the cube. I've already set up the outside body and ear polygon selections before extruding the model. I'll select the body to grow the hair. In the simulate menu, find hair object and click on add hair. In the guides tab of the hair object, change the length to 12 centimeters. Change the root to polygon area. In the hairs tab, Set the count to 100,000 as a starting point and increase the segments to 25. In the thickness tab of the hair material, reduce the root and tip to a very small number and add some variation. Maybe change the viewport display to hairlines to get a clear view of the hair in the viewport. And let's get to Redshift to view the hair render. I'll set the hair parameters one by one to get a clear look of each parameter. Let's change the hair color first. Under the basic tab of the hair material, check the kink box. Change the kink to 
change the noise's global scale to 10%. Now let's create an RS principled hair material and drag the material onto the hair object. Turn off the melanin and melanin redness. And if we crank up the albedo mix, the hair will appear the source greenish hair color. Add some roughness. Now I'll show you how to use image texture as the hair color. I'll use this color texture from the GSG material library for example. Make sure your model is correctly UV unwrapped. Because when we add texture to the hair, it's typically based on the model's UV coordinates. Let me find the material in the library and apply it to the sheep model. Add some roughness in the reflection section of the material. In the color tab of the hair material and in the root section, load the model's albedo image texture here. In the principled hair material settings, find diffuse contribution. This diffuse amount controls the intensity of the diffuse lighting contribution in the hair's shading model. Increasing this value enhances the visibility of the albedo color. I'll set it to 0.3. Let's increase the hair count to 300,000 to have a look. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the settings. Just tweak the hair to create what you want. That's it for today's tutorial. If you found this helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.